It's happening, everyone. Worlds are colliding. We have a song that we're going to listen to called Ratatata. And no, it's not a Pokemon. And no, it's not Taylor Barber. We're talking about the worlds of baby metal and electric cowboy coming together for what is sure to be one hell of a banger of a song. I cannot wait to check this out. I love baby metal. You obviously know I'm a huge electric cowboy fan. This is like a dream come true for me. So can they reach the level of hype that we have for them? I'm not sure, but let's find out. <laughs> Nico's kind of looking like Lloyd from Dumb and Dumber. Oh, this is going to be so good. What's with the karate moves? Oh, here we go. Okay. Oh, this is so catchy, my God. Oh, they're pulling out the ooh, ooh. I was afraid there was gonna be no Japanese. This is so on brand for baby metal. You can't help but smile. The choreography. <laughs> This feels like a like a 90s club, you know, just kind of dance EDM banger, you know, like late 90s, early 2000s. With the ooh, ooh. Oh, the breakdown. Oh, this gives me like um some reason just a night at the Roxbury just pounds in my head. Amazing choreography, and Nico and Kevin are just like. Oh, they're in sync now. Hit me with one last breakdown. Now everybody's getting thrown. <laughs> oh, my Shiller bros. Look, like, how can you watch that and just not smile? I mean, is it the best Electric Callboy song that's released in the last few years? No. Is it the best baby metal song that's released in the last few years? No. But is it fun? Is it contagious? Is it just metal and having a good time? Absolutely. The influences that they were pulling, what felt to me like late 90s, early 2000s, like I was thinking Venga Boys. I was thinking just, you know, the Night of the Roxbury soundtrack, which is one of my favorite movies of all time. There was a clear just kind of um, Doug and Steve headbanging moment going on right there. Like you, me, me, you, 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 me. I don't know. Um, that was a whole lot of fun. Now, even though I don't think 
is necessarily their best song. I mean, Baby Metal has had some amazing collabs. Bring Me the Horizon with Kingslayer, just one of the all-time greatest. Um, even their most recent one with like Tom Morello, that song is so much fun. It has a lot of like that traditional Japanese music uh, uh, flavor vibe with it, but it's just upbeat, it's peppy, it was so much fun. This, um, honestly, the little callbacks to like the ooh, oohs, that was a lot of fun. Uh, I thought, you know, the chorus kind of sung by Baby Metal, I thought it was okay. I didn't think it was great, like necessarily, you know, the kind of catchy that I was hoping for. Um, I preferred much more their verses in Japanese, and I thought, I thought that had a nice flavor to it as well. Um, and the video itself, I thought it was a lot of fun. You know, I can see them on stage now with those, you know, disco ball helmets and everything, uh, which we've come to kind of expect from the band. But I don't know, I guess what was the story here? You know, and not that every video has to have a story. I mean, I thought it was beautifully produced. I thought it was, it had some amazing visuals, but you know, I just think back to like Arrow of Love. I think back to Techno Train. I think back to Hypa Hypa. And you know, they all had just this amazing quality that just made them stand out. Like they, these are just iconic videos. And don't forget, we got the moves. I mean, the haircuts, the part, like it is just something here. You know, the choreography was great. I felt like Nico and Kevin were a little bit lost in the background with the dancing. Um, I'm, you know, I would almost appreciate it even if they weren't going to kind of choreograph it with baby metal, but, you know, just be a little bit more goofy with it, I guess. I don't know. Uh, but hey, this is my first watch, my first reaction. I'm sure it'll grow on me. Um, and the whole ratatatas and all of that was just a lot of fun. This is going to be a song that you're going to want to shake your ass to. And what more do we expect from Electric Cowboys? So, yeah, overall, I thought this was great. This was a lot of fun. And, um, man, I can't wait to get more music from these guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys thought about the call collab. Did it kind of let you down a little bit? Did it meet your expectations? Did it exceed your expectations? I think right now, for me, it met my expectations. I would give this a solid 8 out of 10. Um, but, you know, behind songs, like even like Every Time I Touch, obviously Hypa Hypa, Iconic, We Got The Moves, Pump It, like it just doesn't stack up, unfortunately. And you would expect with these two powerhouses it would, but who knows? Maybe a few months down the line, I completely changed that ranking. We'll go ahead and see. But thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time.